fast. But we got 615. 615, you're on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. Name, age, city. How can we help you? 615, go ahead. This 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 Luther King the fourth in the uh, in the chat Tennessee twenty seven. All right. Why okay. you sound so? Are you like you depressed? depressed? Yes, yes. 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 No, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't I ain't depressed. I ain't depressed. All right. So uh, what's up, bro? What's but up? you know, sh- shout out to y'all boys for coming out. You boys, know. men, men, yeah. man, men. <laughs> shout out, shout out, shout out to y'all for you know the transition for t- turning these boys to men. That's mm-hmm. what I was trying to say, mm-hmm. but. Um, mm-hmm. My question is: I got I got, I got served with some um John Court papers, and I just want to know <laughs> the right advice. You got served with some what? Uh, uh, John Court papers. Uh, Kzag, uh, yeah, take, yeah, take Kzag, it away. That's Kzagin's. Uh, he's so, uh, that's that nigga wheelhouse. So, <laughs> so caller, how, how old is the child? What state are you in? How much did the child weigh? I got. <laughs> I got two uh, uh, kids. I got one that's four and one that's seven. Okay. Okay. So the child. So you got you got right, served hold, with. Hold, hold on, real quick. I'm sorry. Just how old are you again, caller? Please. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. All right. Go ahead. Okay. So, two kids by the same woman or by two different women? Uh, the same woman. So she she's serving you for both kids. For both kids. And and how old are the kids again? That's awesome. The, the uh, I got I got a I got a four year old boy and a uh, six year old little girl. Boy. Oh, nigga. Oh, okay. So, yeah. uh, number one, there's nothing you can do um, about the child support uh, because she served you with the paper. So they they, they coming for that check reduction. They coming for that. Love it. Um. So what you can do? Are y'all on good terms? You and a young lady. We 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 were, but it's just she. It's just the fact that she want me on her program, and I decided okay, not. Okay, so here you go. Here you go. She here go. I, I know what it, I know what it is. I know exactly what it is, and I don't know why I feel like I just so know what this shit is. So, how long have y'all been broken up? About like four plus years. Okay, so when was the last time you smashed? Be honest. Yeah, I think be, to be real, when we before we even broke up. Okay, so before then, you said because she just now being served. Was you paying yeah. in those four years y'all broke up? Of course, I was sending. I was sending cash up at the cash shop. I was yeah. sending money. Oh no, 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 no! I'm, yeah. I'm not talking about that type of money because you put yourself on child support, which is okay, but you're not doing it legally, right? Right. That's wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. You want to do? I told. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead yeah, so, so, last thing, brother. Last thing. The, these four years, you said that you guys are okay, relationship wise. What soured the relationship? Uh, the disrespect. Okay, she, what what like, type of disrespect? Explain it to us. Uh, and I just I cut all communications off, and she didn't you, like. You, you can't you can't do that. What type of disrespect though? Like oh fuck this bitch this, and uh, she called my mama my mama, my mama her name and all uh, okay that. okay so <laughs> the reason why this stuff is happening is based it's called look man people just don't randomly do stuff unless they're actually emotionally unstable. Right. So what I'm telling you is there is a reason why the language is being thrown. There's the reason why she feels like she just cut your mom out. What are the reasonings these things are happening from her point of view? From her point of view is because like she claims that I'm not taking care of the uh the school system. I guess they have like some type of uh registration fees that I, I'm supposed to be paying. But it's like I'm only I'm only in with a limited amount of money. So it's like I told her I'm not gonna pay no uh registration when I'm sitting here for, uh, when I'm sitting here getting together for the skit the uh I mean the, uh, the kids school clothes the same, same Young thing. man, young man, this you know is I mean? why this is why game is so important for y'all motherfuckers. Stop playing house, stop fucking ain't shit women, stop mm-hmm. getting these motherfuckers pregnant. Number mm-hmm. one, who who ain't shit. Now, number two. This is why, like Fifth was just talking about, child. Okay, y'all have to understand this. The government does not see the shit you're doing if you ain't doing it the government's way. Which means, is you can you can give all the fucking money you want, buy all the diapers, the formula, the clothes, and all that shit. 
Government saying so what? We you you still ain't paying child support because you ain't doing it on our terms, and that and that's why y'all get your asses caught up in shit. So what what I don't understand is why didn't you get your lazy fucking ass down to the family court the moment you hopefully did your DNA test to see if that first kid was yours, then which which doesn't doesn't bother with my mind. Why would you have a second kid knowing that one was disrespectful, knowing she called looked at you as a sucker and a loser and shit, and then what did you do? You rewarded her a kid. And now you now you're now look, I listen, I think and I'm all for women getting motherfuckers like you the best way they can. Because one day it's gonna teach you motherfuckers that listen, number one, wrap up and stop fucking ancient bitches. Or number two, if you get that bitch pregnant, then you take your response of fucking ability, take your ass to the uh, the family court, get, get on child support, and then at that point you'll start when you and then you're gonna lose wages. And for 18, you hey, you in for 18. You in for 18. That and you gotta accept that so, shit. Steve, let, let me say this. A couple of things. When you were sending child support to her, did it you was, put in a in a memo what it was for? Yeah, I labeled it for everything. I labeled it for like the birthdays, the clothes. No, 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 no. You gotta specifically put support for the child, child support. You can't say birthday gift, school mm. clothes. It's a gift. Carla, let me ask you a question. To your knowledge, mm -hmm. is she trying to get you for back pay? I believe so. Okay, oh, this, 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 this is how you handle it. Okay, yeah. how, how, uh, is, is your, how's your credit? You got a good credit score? Yeah, yeah. I, got a, I got a decent credit score. I ain't gonna say it's good, but it's okay, decent. Okay, okay, this, this is how you handle it. Go, go. Now I'm about to tell you something, but you need to go see a lawyer to get the specifics. Either a child, uh, either a chapter seven or a chapter thirteen bankruptcy can stop that. If, if a woman try to get you on child black child support, the only way to stop it is either she doesn't do it or file bankruptcy. Either chapter seven or chapter thirteen, but go speak to a bankruptcy attorney before you do so. So speak to a bankruptcy attorney before I go to the child. Support. Ask him. Ask him which one. Ask him which one to file because normally chapter seven is for like uh, secured debt, like credit cards and all that. Chapter thirteen is usually for mortgages and all that other shit. Did she, right, a new, so did she get a new man too? Did she get a new man? Yeah, I, I, yeah, because she got a third baby. She got a fucking third baby, but it, it's not. There it is. There it is. There it is. She, so, she, she need that money. Uh, she need that money, dog. It's not good. Yeah. The other, the other nigga, the other nigga is an ancient nigga who yeah, needs you to pay that's for everything. And that's what I was thinking. That's what I was yeah, thinking. Yeah. That, oh, that, guys, uh, guys, guys, guys! Everybody, everybody listening, this is a teachable moment. If if you uh, if you in a situation. Please don't don't wait. If you if you if you got a chick pregnant and y'all know y'all about to break up, go down to the courts and put yourself on child support. And, and ask for full custody first. Like get in there first. I need the, I need my child. Get there first. Get there I'm before the. Get, I'm trying to get all the uh, uh, custody. Yeah. Yeah. Get there before the woman, guys. Get there. I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. You guys didn't realize that condoms was cheap, but you know. Yeah, but see, but see, fifth, the fact that he wasn't. See, guys, when you're not married, that that inhibits certain things from going in your favor. See, when you're married and you're going through a divorce, getting joint custody is easier. When mm. when you have out of kids, uh, out of children, wedlock. I mean, when you have kids out of wedlock and all of that, and the, the child has already been with the mother, and you're a non-custodial parent, bro, it's very. You got to prove that she's unfit now, which is gonna be fucking impossible. So that's a good question. Do, do you got a new girl? Say what now? Do you have a, a new chick? No, no, I, I'm 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 strictly focused, you know, trying to get. Okay, because I was gonna say she's probably jealous of that you got a new chick or some shit. Yeah, this, I, I'm gonna let tell let you, let man. Let man is, oh, go ahead, go ahead, Zach. Let me say this, caller. Don't put nothing in the text. Don't text her. Don't leave no voicemails about anything at all. Right? Speak to her in person and and be respectful and only speak about the kid. <sighs> Don't don't ask her why you're doing this to me. You're a bitch. You're fucked up. Don't speak. Don't talk to her about nothing because she can use all that in court. I'm gonna lie you know to you. That? I'm gonna lie to you that the you day did? that I them papers, I mean, I did all. I called her and did all that. You know? Wait. Oh, Wait. 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 Damn, 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 damn. Why are you in your bitch ass feelings, dog? You you created all this. Everything that happened to you is not her fault. She knew she wasn't shit. You knew she wasn't shit. You were the one that was with that ancient bitch. You were the one that got her pregnant twice. So why are you getting mad at her when you the one that's an irresponsible motherfucker? 
Why, why, why are you cussing her out when it's your fault? So, <laughs> so, so, so even if joint custody was a possibility, all she got to do is show that you got anger issues, nigga, and it's over for you. Oh, exactly. all right. Right. you leave the message. I hope you. All you do, hey, text, did you text her, or call her? Which one did you do when you were cussing her out? Tell her she ain't shit. Oh, I, I, I called her. I called her that morning when uh when uh when uh the police showed up to the house and then you know I think when she when I hung up the phone because I was just trying to end it because I, I had a feeling she had she had me on record through the other you know, the other device. The smart lawyer would say, you know what? Don't worry. The call's coming soon. Hit record. Record that, and you be a victim now. Be afraid, and we can up the ante. Man, you are fucked. But did you text her any sh any shit though? Leave any voicemails. Hell no, hell no. I know better than that. Hell oh, no. oh yeah, I know better. Hey, he didn't know better than not to get an ancient bitch pregnant, but he know better than not to text oh, me, man. Fuck. Hey, call her. So you got a real quick. Uh, you got a four year old and a six year old, right? For sure, yeah. Okay, so if she's trying yeah. to get back child support, not only are they going to get you going forward, but they're going to attack. They're going to add that up over the course of four to six years, and then they're going to tack that on. And if, and if you're having trouble paying what you're paying now. Bro, you you are gonna be sleeping on someone's couch in no time at all. Yeah, so if I was you, dog, go see, go see, um, because you can get a free consultation. Go yeah. see, a, go see a bankruptcy lawyer. Because I know for a fact you cannot afford no 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 child custody lawyer. You know what I'm saying yeah. it, it start off like three four Gs, and I and I know you probably ain't got that, nigga. I'm just saying I don't know your money. So, so let me yeah. ask you, let me ask you a question. Uh, have you been fucking bitches lately? Uh, Hell no. You can tell uh, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Are, are you? Have you been smashing bitches lately? <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> yeah, so I, I got this. I got this. I got this. Uh, <clears throat> this little. Uh, this little upload coming out next week. It's called. It's called using what you have to get what you want, right? Mm -hmm. So you need to get you a bitch, right? You need to get out there because your money is funny, dog. You're going to have to have some woman understand your story. And you're going to have to have her help you finance things in your life. See, you you got to understand, women are good at a lot of things. I mean, they're fucking excellent at a lot of fucking things. And one thing they do know is, is that I'm sitting on a fucking gold mine to bitch ass niggas. Right? So you need to understand that you need to put yourself out there, upgrade your life with your stroke. And what you need to do is you need to get out there, you need to get you some women and say, look here, you know what I mean? I got some things I need to take care of my life. I need you to be a part of that. You get what I'm saying? And I and I, and I know a lot of motherfuckers ain't, ain't telling you this shit. They tell you to run from bitches. They tell you, to, hey, man, get you a solid one. That's good with whatever situation you got going on. That got some fucking money. Right, you need to be helped out in these situations, dog. Stop being, stop out here battling life by your fucking self. Oh, I'm just trying to focus and focus on what, nigga. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> money. Let, let me let me say this, because I, I hate when you niggas just say shit. The Quan Brandon, child support is not federal; it's state by state. There are some states where you can get back child support. Do, do you think I just pulled this shit out of my ass, nigga? You know what I'm saying. I, I know all about that shit. So for, for you to say, "Oh, back child support is from the day that you filed," no, it depends on it depends on what state you you're in. Yeah, each yeah. state is different. Child support is not federally mandated. Okay, yeah. it's literally state by state. It, yeah, and and I was gonna say this too. I was gonna say this too because she could she could only like like you see like how you've been paying. You, let's just say your relationship was cool, right? And then she went. She said, "You know what? I'm gonna go apply for child support, but I I just want." from the point that I file to and and mm -hmm. and 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 so on depending on the state they might make it mandatory even though she didn't ask for it they might make it mandatory that you give back child support what well, it's a hustle you understand because it's the state that that gets a percentage of that money exactly so the more right, money right, they right. can get you for this is the guys <clears throat> y'all don't understand what y'all doing when y'all not in in when y'all not responsible with your seed 
This is what I talk about when I when I try to tell y'all that y'all don't understand y'all value. You 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 letting go you letting go inside an unworthy woman. You letting go inside an incompatible woman. You letting go inside a woman that you know there's a possibility you won't stay with her. So that so that's when all the child support shit comes in, and the government is gonna capitalize off your irresponsibility. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas who love to love to come over here and get mad at us for saying what we say and talking the shit we talk, but it's the government that's gonna come get you. It's the government that's going to drag you through the ringer. Y'all niggas worried about, oh, these bitch ass niggas on YouTube disrespecting the nigga. You disrespecting yourself by not being responsible with your value. Straight up and down. You see. Hey, hey, hey. 11. It's for you, Steve. I think it's 11.50. No. Nine. So it's 10. So it's 12. It was 11.59. It says that's some bad advice. Bringing someone in. Please bring that up. Oh, you talking about this right here? Yeah, yeah. So the reason why I wanted to bring this up, man, and let me let me tell y'all something, man. When you got game, you know how to manage your fucking stable. Right. You oh. know how to manage people yes. that's involved with your life. I don't think you motherfuckers really understand. See, you're looking at it from a chaotic mindset. Oh, I, you know, it's going to be so many people in my life and I'm bringing people in. When you have game, you can manage everybody in your life and now yeah. that you can help them manage their own lives. Yeah. So what I would tell you is y'all niggas need to stop having no value on your stroke. I'm, 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 really, I'm really trying to tell y'all niggas, man, there was a time. Call it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to have to let you go to, to get to the next call. All right, brother. All right, bro. All right, man. Appreciate Peace, you. man. Good luck to you. Yeah, yeah go ahead, fifty. Uh, and uh, four six nine. Hold on one second. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. It's good. We go. We go. Who's right? All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So four six nine. You're on live at the real game. No theory. Uh, name, age, city. How can we help you? Four six nine. Go ahead. You're we good, with y'all. Name, name is Joe from Memphis. How you guys What's doing? Up? All right, chilling, man. What's up? What's your question? Um, I was going to ask. Yeah, what? <laughs> right there, right there, Steve. He replied. This is how can you manage anything? You see it, man? What the fuck are you talking, dog? Yeah, Come see, on, see, man. this is what I'm saying. When you don't have game, you don't understand the process, right? We, you you're talking from the perspective of having game, motherfucker. That's what we, y'all got. Y'all guys don't understand when we're, when we're talking. We're talking from the winner's perspective, not the loser's perspective. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly, dog. That's it's fucking amazing to me, dog. <laughs> we wouldn't be in them situations, but we're trying to help you understand things you can do outside of the situation because it's already happened. Oh my so god! Look, you, look, at, look at fucking. I, know, uh, I just saw that shit I, because there's other quite a fucking. Uh, yo, on. I hate when y'all niggas do this stupid yeah. shit. So how much game is required to get a nine or a ten to cooperate? It seems like you guys just justify the sixes you have. Because oh. they cooperate as a fellow game master, I, nigga. You did this nigga say a fellow game master? What the fuck is? Okay, nigga, call up, please. You, 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 this, this is all disrespectful right here. First of all, we're not talking about Dungeons and Dragons, nigga. <laughs> okay, with fellow game master, what the fuck are you talking about? He's trolling. He got to be trolling. Well, he called a name, Mr. Hikario. I mean, exactly yeah. right. What's his name? name? He said, "Mr. Hikario, that's his. That's his thing. You he he ain't trying to bite off of you, nigga. Exactly. Man, right. He riding your coattail, but he got game. <laughs> exactly. Here's something right here. Says, uh, if a woman is impressed about my car or how plush that's decked my spot is, <laughs> if, she, if she is trying to make me wait, is it most mostly due to her trying to play her cards for long term or her trying to to barter?" <sighs> okay. But well, once you call in, because East Side Wave, you always got these goofy out of the way questions, bro. Always. Uh, the real Dana with a super chat. Shout so out to real Dana. Dana. Uh, I think Mr. Like, if he's on to something, Gail King had a man she was only dating, asked for 20K to pay out for back. You're damn right. Mm. Nigga, hey, I don't give a fuck what y'all. Hey, start putting some respect on your stroke, nigga. <laughs> See, I, I, I cannot under I don't think y'all understand when you're sitting when you look all you cake ass niggas be working out and getting your stamina up and all this old shit nigga you, your niggas is out here slanging dick for free mm. dick ain't for free ain't getting nothing look. in return I, I ain't getting nothing in return look, I, uh, I a, a sandwich or something a, a two a two a p.m. sandwich not a 2 a.m. sandwich <laughs> 2 p.m. sandwich nigga 
Look, what type of niggas is these, dog? I, I I remember years and years ago. You know, I, I was in a tight situation and I was dealing with this with this babe. And she was like, "If you ever you ever need anything, just let me know." And I'm like, "I'm good right now." A couple of days later, I had her bring me a stack. You know what I'm saying, like, fuck, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, like, because she was a property manager at the apartment complex, so she yeah, made she great got money. It. She got it. You know what I'm so I'm like, bring. I'm like, hey, look, you know, the offer still stands. She was like, yeah. I had to stop by the ATM before coming by, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of these niggas can't fathom that, though. Yeah, right. They want it. And here's the thing they want to do it. They either use their money or the other sucker's money. But yeah, they, use they, it. Will, they will do it because they see the value in you because a man is so rare. They doing everything they can. Like I told you, one foot out the door, they're going to do everything they can to hold on because mm-hmm. they, 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 they'll they take a, per- a small percentage of us versus a whole percentage of them, man. Period. Facts. Well, I guess we never answered this guy's question right here. Guys, lines are open, but uh, wait, well, uh, guys, about the warning signs. Let me see. What did he say? Oh, shit. Thank you. Thank you about calling. Uh, we got uh, 646. You're on live with the Rugged No 3 panel. Name A City. How can we help you? Oh, you good. Shine, ready, rock. My ah, children, Brooklyn. Oh, good. Honey, shine. What up, Shine? What's going on, ready, rock? What's going on with you? What's going on with you? Blood? What's going on? Hey, yo, hey, yo, Shine, check it out. I, I, I saw that first video you did with that shorty all yelling in the motherfucking airport yeah. at, at her little nigga and shit. So that's what that's what y'all be talking about right there, like discipline. The, all, all this shit, it starts at home, Shine. So, like, a lot, last year I had a little, little bitch that I got rid of. I had a little bitch last year I got rid of. You know what I mean? She did that shit at my house. And I said, she raised her voice. And I'm like, hold up, hold up, bitch. Who the fuck you think you talking to? And she was like, yo, it ain't me not share you. Like, you, you take me too far. No, no, bitch. You talk to me with the same respect. You talk to your father. This how you talk to your father, bitch? How often you raise your voice at your father? She said, never, never. Okay, that, that, that's the same type of respect that I want from you, bitch. And that's what you got to teach, nigga. Have these bitches, have these bitches. Yeah. You with the same Ready, respect. rock. Ready, rock. Ready, rock. Y'all coming with this, Ready Rock, real quick, Ready Rock. Hey, this fifth, man. What's up, man? Hey, so let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen a judge yell at anybody? <laughs> yes, multiple times. No, 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 judges don't yell. Let me tell you why judges don't yell. Judges don't yell because they're in charge. And also, too, if you are, if you got to call a woman out her name, that woman is no value to you. Mm. You cannot look, man. If you got a result to using names to like what y'all call check a woman, you she has zero value to you because I don't want to be with a, a, a woman I gotta call a bitch. Facts. I don't want to be with a woman I gotta call a whore and a slut and all this old shit. If I got a result to any of that behavior, that is a low bottom of the barrel woman that I never need to be around ever. Mm-hmm. Okay, I disagree. Hey, yo, now, now, uh, hey, um, hey, like you I, 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 I disagree with you. Let me tell you why, yo. Because the same way you deal with a bitch is a, it's a different way between I deal with a bitch. Everybody on this panel, like everybody say they got game, but every, each every nigga on this panel got a different way of dealing with a bitch. So the same. I, way I, deal I, I agree with fifth though. I agree. With Come on, now, that's oh, well, hey, 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 caller, caller, look, check this out. There's a difference between commanding respect and demanding it. Now, you can demand respect, but oftentimes, if you're at a point where you got to demand it, chances are it was never there to begin with. Mm. So if, if that's the case, and a lot of times, a lot of cases, you're better off just getting rid of the woman. Now, if a woman is raising her voice, all you got to do is tell her, sit down, sit down right quick. <laughs> get, get real close to her, look at her close in the eye and say, look. If you ever want to see me again, don't you ever raise your voice? You understand? Mm. Very calm. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, Ready, hey, Rock. Hey, you know how, how tall are you, Ready, Rock? Hey, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, K-Z, you see what you just did? That's your way of dealing with a bitch. You know my way of dealing with a bitch. Bitch, lower your goddamn voice. Hey, hey, how, how tall are you, Ready, Rock? <laughs> hey, Ready, Rock. How tall are you? Are you sure I told my height? I'm, I'm, I'm five eight, and I'm a buck eighty five. Sure, five. Yeah, yeah. So, so, five, so. Right? A lot of times, and this is what normally happens, a lot of times men with your stature, all their life, they have been challenged because of their size. So the way that they're behaving. Steve, don't appreciate that. Steve, don't appreciate that. Yeah, the way they be, I'm just being serious, nigga. Hey, the way that they are respond, male or female, 
is uniformed. It don't matter who you are. This is what we doing. This is how I'm going to do it. But what I'm saying to you, when you develop your mindset as a man, you will understand that you are more in a teaching chair. I'm teaching you how to act. I'm going to teach you and I'm going to demonstrate if a woman ever tries you in any way that you feel like she's trying you, you got to remember that behavior shows lack of respect in areas or uninformed. She doesn't know. Okay. okay. You have to teach. Steve, okay. If you ever need to get in the chick's face, I got you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. You can borrow this anytime you need to. Then. <laughs> you got to remember, you're the owner of that. <laughs> I got, I got kids, bro. I got, I got little kids that need to wash their hands in the sink, bro. <laughs> you, know, you know, I know. That's it. I got it. I want to respond to 1950. In 1950, what you said, what you said is fact, yo. All throughout middle school, high school, I, I was like one of the smallest niggas in school. Mm -hmm. guess what? I took oh, all my bullies, son. I took up my bullies. So, so guess what? N niggas ain't bully me the way a niggas bully the other niggas. But guess what, right? I'm the one and the only niggas that can say ain't no nigga ever violated my in front of me. Every bitch feels safe in front of me, my nigga. Do you know why? These bitches, they know I hold it down, son. I hold it down, son. <laughs> 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 you know, red New York niggas, man. I'll tell you some wild niggas out there, man. Hey, 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 1950. Hey, 1950. If you don't believe me, come, come to Brownsville. Go on Mother Gaston. Go on Mother Gaston. Ask your about ready, Bob. That's nah, don't go on Mother Gaston. I'm telling you, don't go over there. <laughs> yeah, I don't visit those places, nigga. Them, hey. When I go to other cities, man, I'm going to the tourist I, 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 I say that, I say that because the place where I'm from and the place where I live, like that, 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 that showed me what a man is. If I could survive that and I could live where I live right now, you a man. If you could live in Brownsville or North New Jersey, you a man, my nigga. Well, I think, I think, it, I think, it, I, think it, I think you can be a man living anywhere in the world. I, I, I don't think it's necessarily those areas. You know what I mean? I think you can be a man anywhere. So wait, wait, ready, right? I got a question for you. I'm curious about this shit. So if your cousin was get, her, if her boyfriend was beating her ass, would you beat his ass or would you call the police? No, nah, well, I, I, that's a whole different situation right there. First off, I got, I got mad question to ask. Like, like, I, like, so if the nigga whoop your ass, like, what the fuck you want me to do? Because when, because when, when, when I pull up, I'm turning up. Ain't no talking, none of that shit. And I gotta make sure before I turn up. You gonna leave this nigga, and nine mm. times that shit ain't happening. So as long as the nigga don't whoop her ass in front of me, I'm good. And, but hypothetically speaking, if the nigga know about me, he probably won't whoop her ass. Oh my god! My cousin get her ass whooped by a nigga. It's her the nigga don't want me, son. I ain't got nothing to do with that, son. That ain't my father, son. <laughs> we should hire Ready Rock for security at the. Uh, I feel you, Ready. Yeah, right. yeah, I feel you, Ready Rock. I feel you, no brother. Doubt, no doubt, no doubt, my nigga. That, that's why I shout, yo, hey, yo, yo, yo. I'm a real nigga, yo. But all I'm saying, when you got a chance to come to Mother Gas and yo, we want to show love. We show love. Oh, hold on, man. You in you in New Jersey? No, I'm out, Shane. <laughs> huh? You're in New Jersey, bro. What? No, no, I live in New Jersey. Yeah, God. yeah, you're not in New York. Stop claiming that, dog. You moved out. <laughs> you, you were in New Jersey in the nice. You got lawns and shit. Nigga. You got lined up grass. Get money in New York. You move to Jersey. When yeah. you get money in New York, you move to Jersey, shine, shine. Oh, yeah, nigga, you, hey, dump all that ghetto shit, nigga. Leave that shit behind you. <laughs> all right, ready, rock. Hey, hey yo, man. Yo, 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 shine, shine, shine. You know the access I got now, shine. I've been at that ghetto shit behind shine. Yeah, yeah, behind. yeah, but the ghetto, you gotta leave the mentality behind you too so you can develop, my nigga. <laughs> yo, 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 you you know who hey, yo yo you know who you talking to, Shine? You 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 are talking to a young guy, Shine. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo, hey, man. You know, hey, I wish you I wish you nothing but the best, my brother, man. Yeah. You know, hey, just do they your call thing, me man. Consultations. They call me Shine. <laughs> I wish you the best, man. All right, all right, Ready Rock. We appreciate right, you, man. Y'all hold it down, Shane. All right, thanks for calling, man. We appreciate you, man. Take it easy, man. Till next time. 
right. Yeah, man. Uh, guys, call in 919-647-9392. 919-647-9392. Make sure y'all call in. Uh, we, we got about a half hour left, man. Any any questions in there? We got a woman just right here. Is it hereditary in a man's nature to want a main woman but keep a eye or time for uh, some women? Oh, that's Tiffany asking. She so Tiffany, you gotta call up. What happened? Is the guy you fucking with? He ain't trying to commit. <laughs> Y'all, look. I, I want both men and women to understand something. Monogamy is not natural for anybody. Right. I mean, it's, it's a choice. Now, some people have been conditioned to believe that it's natural, but it's quite normal and commonplace for both men and women to desire variety. I don't know if y'all know that or not. Right. That's a fact. So yeah, uh, okay. This is Z. I got this next question. Right here. What are some red flags in a woman a man should never ignore uh, in dating? I, I, I say the only red flag is a woman who don't listen to you. Yeah, I think they don't follow your lead. That's, that's, that's number one. That's, that's number one. Right. right. I think that's number one and two. And shit. Right. Exactly. Number one. That's all the flags. All right. The flags. Yeah, that's all the flags. Oh. That's a fact. But um, and, and, yeah, I don't never. I don't understand men that don't even. This is the little shit. And in, in early in the game. Bitch, I, I would, like, I'm telling you, these niggas would still smash a bitch that's disrespectful out on a date. That's mm -hmm. great. They would still yeah, which, which is, bro, how, how do a nigga even get an erection, dog, once a chick been disrespectful? I don't see no, how that's what I'm saying. I don't get, I don't get that either. I'm, I'm disgusted. I don't see. I know, I know the audacity. I don't see. <laughs> um, XY, XY says most men are monogamous out of necessity. No, 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 no. Most men are uh, monogamous out of obligation, meaning... Mm. They can't get that woman unless they promise monogamy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's a fact. I mean, so you, you, you can say necessity, but it's really like a lot of these monogamy oriented relationships, a lot of people really don't want to be sexually exclusive. They, mm -hmm. they, they just doing what they got to do to secure the person that they with. That's mm -hmm. a fact. I was on, I was on, uh, cause I'll be on the clubhouse app talking shit. I was in this, in this, yeah, there? I still be on that shit. Yo, exactly. yo, I was in this room, bro. And it was these women talking about, it was a, a, a female, uh, on the, on the top of the joint talking. And she was like telling the women, she was like, don't give guys no sex until they make a commitment to you. And basically what she, <laughs> basically what she's saying is that's going to only work on these beta male weak dudes. That's going to. Yeah. Be with her yeah. for a few weeks, make her his girl, and you see what I'm saying. So it's like that's yeah. how that's how some of these guys get into these relationships. Like they're they want pussy so bad that they're willing to follow her and do what she want in order to make shit happen. It's terrible. Facts. See, when when a woman says shit like that, don't give guys no sex until they commit to you. She's placing all the value of who she is and what she is on her pussy business. Right, right. Yeah. Which which is a backwards way to look at it because if you're telling me as a woman, I'm gonna give you all the access to me that you want. But I'm gonna save sex for later until you prove that you worthy of it. You're telling me that the best part of you is your pussy. Mm -hmm. If that's the exactly. case, I don't want you. Darth Vader. Zach, Zach, Darth Zach Vader. go get that little stool and go up <coughs> and, and shake your fucking cord and shit. <laughs> yeah, your 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 uh, your joint was <laughs> going in and out. It said a uh, question. So outside, look hard. Are the rest of the of you men loyal to one woman without any slip ups. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Let me say something real quick. Let me say some real. This what this is what y'all gotta get understood. You gotta slip get understood. Up? This is Tiffany. This is what you gotta understand. See, <laughs> men are men are loyal to themselves, which is why the woman benefits by being with that man. So, like, I think y'all get it confused. Y'all think we're being loyal to the woman. No, we're being loyal to ourselves. And within that, she is there. So right. she benefits by us being there because we're loyal to ourselves. So don't so basically what I'm saying is don't think we're doing it for the woman. That's what confuses y'all because this is the thing. Then Tiffany, this was gonna happen. If you think we're doing it for you, mm -hmm. you're gonna think there's something wrong with you based on what we're doing you're gonna be like well how come i can't keep him loyal to me we're not loyal to you you see what i'm saying that's what we're trying to get you to understand we're doing what we do for us and you right. benefit by being with us that's how it works yeah actual actual men with a masculine identity were never loyal to you never mm. never but 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 tiffany call in though i, yeah, I, I want to I want to know where all these questions are coming from. I want to know which which uh which uh surface dweller did you wrong to make right. you 
come over here and asking all these <laughs> questions. I know, I know she's going through it right now. She she probably is with some dude. The dude's hooked up with some other girl. He, he, she's feeling some type of way, and she's like, why are these guys not loyal? He's not every every, every he's not woman, every, uh, every woman, until they understand that the man that they're with is special, they believe that they are special. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. And so what happens in their mind, they have never met the guy to feel like that guy is special. So I'm the special person. So why isn't he acting like what I hear about? Mm -hmm. I hear these all these men loyal to these women and doing X, Y, and Z, but I'm the special one. So why are he doing this for me? I'm telling you, that is what they're walking around with though, on their shoulders. Yep. Right. So when they find out they're not they're not special, <laughs> it's it's like Tiffany, Tiffany going through pink pill rage. <laughs> uh, J. Robinson says, "How can I turn a mono relationship into a more natural relationship? If you are currently in a mono one, how do you bring up the convo? What do you say?" Well, Lucario, don't you have something yeah, for it? Exactly, I got a whole program on the on MrLocario dot com. Go to MrLocario dot com. Get the program how to have a successful non monogamous relationship. I break all that down. How to do it, the different types of non monogamy, all that shit. I break it all the way down for you guys. So, Smokey, go to MrLocario dot com and check that program out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so we uh, yeah. Can you put them on hold real quick. My okay. Uh, seven six nine. Hold on one second. Let, let me let me just say something to Tiffany. Yeah, y'all women, y'all be wanting the sexiest, most handsomest nigga that all the other women want, and y'all want that nigga to only want you. Y'all are very unrealistic. Right. Anyway. <laughs> Silver Bear.